Yeah, welcome, welcome to Papa Stash Pop. So this band is awesome. I've been digging the acoustic bands lately. It's usually not my bag, but you know, this new school is good stuff. So I've done a song from this band before. It's back on the Papa Stash Pop page if you want to check that out. Here's a new one. Awesome song as well. If you've done the last one, same kind of chords feel, you know, so it'll be easy. You got two in the pipe. So uh, anyways... If you have a song request of your own, go ahead and click that link down below. That gets to the request page where it comes to me in a nice little bundle of joy and I get to see what you want lessons of. So do me a favor and click that link below. Other than that, let's zoom in for a closer look. Right, so that is the intro of the tune. So what we're going to do is do an F chord, but what we're gonna do is, you know, your typical F chord is like you're barring the first fret, B and E, and then you have your second finger on the G string second fret, and your third finger on the third fret of the D. Scoot your third finger up one string, so now it's third fret of the A, and put your pinky on the D string third fret. So we got this. It's a little bit fuller of an F, and it's gonna come in handy because you're gonna switch back and forth between this chord and C chord, which is really a similar chord. So it's gonna work out great, right? So we got. And then from there, keep your first finger where it's at, raise up your second finger one string, and tuck in your ring finger. We're gonna go to an A minor chord. Then we're gonna jump back to that chord again, so keep your first finger where it's at, and just put it down so it's on the B and E. And now we're gonna go to a C chord, and all you have to do is take off your pinky and then raise up this guy and raise up your first finger and your back. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that same transition to the A minor, and we're gonna take off our ring finger and move up our second finger to the A string second fret, and then we're gonna go to a C chord. Okay, so, strum pattern. So what I'm doing is I'm going. So we got. go through that progression twice and that is the intro to the song now the verse of the song is almost identical in the pattern with an exception of two kind of shifts on the chord progression so we're going to start the same way but now when you go back to this F shape take off your second finger and now you have the G open and then go to a traditional C shape. Back to that F. And then what we're gonna do from there is we're gonna go to a G. Now what you're gonna do is pretend you're just doing the C shape, but just raise up those two fingers one string. So now it's on the E third fret and the A second fret. And then back to the C. So all together we got
right, so we're gonna do that pattern twice. And then after you do that, there's a little transition to get to the next verse. So let's go over that. All right, so our last go around in the verse, at the end, we're gonna hang on a C and we're gonna do that four times. So let's hear how that sounds. We got. Now we're gonna go into the transition part. So the transition part is gonna be F, C, A minor, G. But the timing is gonna be a little bit different than we have done before. It's gonna be something like this. right back into the verse. So let's break that down really slowly. Again, we're going F to C, A minor to G. Now, if you notice, you don't have to pick up your first finger ever. And on those first two chords, you only have to move that one finger if you want. And you don't necessarily have to do that. You can do that C alternate chord but F sounds great too, so again. So what I'm doing is I'm going. I'm just doing one pattern of that. three patterns of the C instead of four, and then it gets us right back into the next verse. Right, like we've done before. So that's the transition part. All right, so let's go over verse two. It's just a little bit different. What we're gonna see is a part that we did in the intro mixed with the verse, and then a couple of the chords are gonna drag on just a hair longer. So we got. Okay, so what we did was the same thing as the first time through the verse. And the walk up. Hang on for three. So that's three C's, one, two, Three, start over. Three here, two. One, two, three. Walk up. we do four C's at the end. So three C's and four at the end. So one more time all the way through. Here we go.
Okay, now we get into kind of a chorusy part. Now this is going to be easy because it's going to have a lot of really close finger movements together. We're going to start off with that F. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over a C slash G chord or a C over G or a C with a G in the bass basically is what it is. So what you would do is you're going to take this part, these three fingers, and just move them all up one string. Now to do the G, what we're going to do is we're going to take this finger off our pinky and move up our second finger. And then we're going to keep our first finger the whole time where it's at and then we're gonna to go to an A minor. I'm gonna do two of the strum patterns per chord. So let me give you an example. Right? go back into the verse. So you can go through that three times. On the third time you're going to hang on that A minor for three of those patterns. Alright, so after those progressions and all those parts we learned, there's really nothing new under the sun. The, you know, it's, it's, it's light and bright and you got it, the whole course. Now the only difference is dynamics, so sometimes they bring it down. Right, or whatever, and then back to... Right, or any of the verse or bridge or chorus. It all just kind of repeats itself after that, and you just play around with dynamics. Listen, you got the ears. I know you can do it once you've learned the parts. It just repeats itself, so from there, you are in. All right, awesome, another song in the bag, way to go. You are doing awesome out there. So, not that hard, just some basic chords, some cool rhythm, you got some songs. It's about, uh, you know, all you need is about five or six chords and you can do about, oh, I don't know, 99% of the 100 or more songs in Papa Stash Pop. Give it a shot. All right, as always, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.